That's right, you guys. Apparently, this is happening. A men's rights political party, or a men's party, as uh, if you will. Kartla listin means men's list, in reference to the fact that there used to be a kvenna listin, women's list, back in the day that later merged into the Icelandic Social Democratic Alliance. So yeah, apparently because hashtag current year, uh, if you haven't been following up uh, on my earlier work uh, regarding the hashtag daddy2 movement and what that whole thing was about and the whole uh, shitstorm with some leaks and stuff, check out the link in description and uh, look that up because this is very much in a continuation from that. So basically uh, a group of guys have uh, seem to have figured that it's a whole lot better to spend the money on your kids' education and futures and whatnot rather than wasting them on lawyers, divorce courts, custody battles, etc., etc., you name it. Uh, so, yeah, uh, on, on top of which, uh, boys are uh, severely, uh, they're underperforming in school, they're not really doing all that well, and, and let's just uh, face it, there are some challenges uh that, uh, that girls, young girls and, and young women face as well, that uh, either have fallen short of what's been done in the uh, gender equality realm in the last uh, decades, or qu quite frankly, what has been done may have backfired. And this is uh, that's another point that these guys are, to a large degree, arguing as well. But yeah, so at any rate, this party, is the, the, the first meeting was uh, tonight, uh, local time. The foundation meeting and these guys are now gathering signatures and uh, and uh, everything to just uh, get ready to bring up the party and and uh, their uh, their whole uh, platform etc and uh, getting ready for uh, I think they'll probably uh, I don't know yet uh, this is gonna be something that we're gonna have to uh, keep watching but I think they might catch if they're lucky they might catch um, the coming municipal elections if not well. At least once they get a party officially established, the you know they will be a, a voice uh, out in the public sphere, and uh, yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see the progression of this. But yes, it is in the works. Uh, the uh, the uh, clickbait sounding headline is not that much of a clickbait, but um, yeah, a men's list or men's party or men's rights party is very much becoming a reality in the tiny, crazy, vivid, Arctic, ocean, North Atlantic nation of Iceland. Ah, uh, you know, just under 350,000 people, and they just keep churning up news for the world, don't they? Oh, I mean, come on. Like, what other country that size does that? One could almost think they were, like, thought they were relevant or something, or... Or, you know, thought they had a chance of breaking into the World Cup in, in soccer. Wait, oh, wait. Oh, they did break into the World Cup in soccer, didn't they? <clears throat> Anyways. So, yeah, this is uh, just it for now. I'll, uh, I'll link uh, the uh, hashtag Daddy2 videos, uh, video, at least the, the first one I did, uh, in there. So you can see what that whole ordeal was about. And uh, then I'll keep you guys posted on this. But stay tuned for... Well, to my knowledge, at least in our recent time, the very first men's rights activist political party in the Western Hemisphere. What has this world come to? Anyways, that's it for now. Viking out.